Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can define these lines to make individual stones on your stone wall. Okay, so for those of you who have watched the last three tutorials, um, you've seen this already like that. Now, what happens is when you grout it, you end up with a very flat surface. I mean, you could leave it like that, but to me that doesn't look very realistic. So we like to define them. And what you do is you take an end of a paintbrush or something that's round on the end and you just kind of go through and you go around where you have the line. And what this does is this pushes the grout out from between it and it also molds the styrofoam that's underneath of it a little bit better. Basically, you're just defining those lines, giving each stone its own individual look. And then when you get done this, then you'll go back to step three and paint it. Alright, so let me show you how I dump it. I take the dust, and I just tip it sideways, and then you end up dusting it off of there. Okay? So here's how it was defined. This is where we were working. And then you just kind of go back and you finish it the rest of the way. And then you do the entire wall like this. And then this will give you the effect that you want with each stone being individual. And then again, this is how it looks when you've painted it and everything. And I want to show you something. Here is like a side view the best I can get where it looks like each stone is raised. You can see. Okay, just like that. Alright, so then there's that. And then here is where the wall has been carved with the way we did it the first time but without each stone being defined. So if you can see the difference in this wall, and I'll show you on the side, there's not really much contour to those stones. But like with this one, each stone has like a little raise in it. Okay, so that's just the difference, I and mean, it's totally a preference, and side by side you can kind of see them. Two different types of stones I did on each of these, but you kind of still get the gist because it's the same way. Okay, and I just used a multicolor when I painted it and mixed them together, and that's also in step three. So you can go back and watch that if you want. Okay, guys, so Today I'm painting the basement wall, and if you notice, there's different colors on here where I've already started. But basically, I wanted to show you a little bit about what I'm doing. I'm taking the paint, and I'm dipping it in, and I'm just kind of fanning it out to get it more of a dry color. And then I'm just kind of very lightly dry brushing it over it. And then I'm just kind of going until the paint runs out of the brush pretty much in different locations. You just go right on top. Find yourself spots where it's kind of various locations on what you're doing. And now you see how it's getting lighter? Okay, now I'm not going to rinse this brush out. I'm going to continue to do this and I'm going to do it with a different color and I'm going to kind of keep mixing it with the colors as I go. That way all the stones have a little bit different color to them. And then you just want to continue this process until your entire thing is covered. So, you know, you can kind of just do a little bit of blue, 
and fan it out and get a little bit of that black in with that blue or you can just do blue by itself whichever it is that you want to do and you just continuously are going to add color and you can do lights darks you don't have to have it all the same it can just be a little bit of everything when it comes to the color Apparently Annette found my uh, camera light. <laughs> okay, so then, you know, get a little bit more blue. And then you can kind of put that in here too, just a little bit. And you see how this blue is a little bit darker than that blue? That's the same exact blue. I just added a little bit more black to that. And that's it. That's all you're going to do is keep going around and you're just basically making each individual stone its own by doing this and you'll just want to keep doing this until you have the entire board covered in stone and that's it All right, we'll be back when I finish up more. All right, so now I'm just kind of defining the lines going around the arches here. You don't have to do this, but I just kind of want to make them stand out a little bit more than they actually do. So I'm just taking a little bit of gray, mixed in with black, and I'm just not even going completely down in there, but just a little bit enough to kind of put a little bit of darkness in there. Again, this is just to kind of give this arch a little bit of definition. Just kind of want to get just the edges of the brick or right in between the grout. Either way, just to kind of give it that little bit. But now you can kind of see how they stand out just a little bit more and you know I can go back and add a little bit more detail to it too but for the most part you can kind of see how that is and then I made the colors on the back wall bolder because it's going to be darker in the back where this is going to stand I think I may go back and add some more color over here a little bit. Not really sure yet. I'll let it dry and see how it looks in the morning. Again, this was made out of styrofoam. This thin piece here is the ready board, and then this is the actual pink board that you get for your house and insulation and stuff like that. It's like one inch thick. Okay guys, so we're going to put the back wall in. Um, 
Make sure you get all the excess off by sanding it down or scraping it off. Any grout that may have gotten on the outside. Okay, so now we're gonna, we put two pieces of cardboard in there and we're gonna go ahead and put it in there and install it. And slide it in with the, the top of it going in first. Now we pushed it all the way against the back wall. Is it uh, square? This one? No, uh, it's square. Push it against the bottom one. There you go. We're just using a square to make sure it goes back. You can use a stick or whatever to get that part back. All right, and once you have it in there, you're just going to remove the paper. And then um, that's it for that. Now we'll do the sides and then the sides will get glued in, which will keep that in place. Not coming out of there unless you cut it. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like on the wall when it's completely installed. Now we still have to put the shelves in for the wine racks right there in the middle. And then we still have to take where we drilled the holes for the lights and add that. And then we have to do both sides. But this will give you a kind of taste of what it's going to look like. So if you want to make it, it's a very long process, but it's a lot of fun. And I think it looks pretty decent. These are the steps that we did down here. And... Um the railing and everything and it's coming up this way. Now we are going to put a little bathroom right here I think. I'm not 100% sure but I think that's where we're going to put it. But then there it is from this angle. Okay guys, well that was it for this video. We are still working on some minor things with the dollhouse. We have a little bit more to go. However, if you subscribe below, we will post the images or the videos as we do it so that you can see how the progress goes. Also, if you subscribe, we'll have the tutorials that we'll post as well and you'll be able to see them. And we plan on making some furniture and a few other DIYs. So you don't want to miss that. And also, if you go on our Facebook page under Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials, you will be able to find lots and lots of pictures of everything that we've done along with a few other things. And then, you know, you can comment there or you can comment below. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to leave them. And we will get to them as soon as we can. But other than that, we're going to continue working on this Miniature Madness because we're having a ball. And thanks for watching and have a great day.